Welcome to Module 2. Here we're going to focus in on screencasting. This is really at the heart of most blended and hybrid learning classrooms. Now, I have started with screencasting a few years ago, and I do struggle. Many of my YouTube video hits, they might have four, three, heck, a good one might have 300 views. So I've always wondered what makes a good screencast, and I think back to where I began as I just sat at my computer staring and thinking about what a good screencast possibly entails. And so I want to share some of my big takeaways. When I began screencasting, I just sat down on the computer, pulled up a lecture, or I recorded a lecture in class, mainly by using tools such as Screencast-O-Matic, QuickTime, um, Jing. I would just record my PowerPoints as I gave a lecture. Now, let me tell you something. If you've ever had to sit through a recording of a PowerPoint, it isn't that engaging. In fact, I find it quite nauseating. When it comes to screencasts of, power, of PowerPoints, it's a resounding no. So, I look at three basic rules. First, you have to keep your screencasts simple. Second, keep them short. Finally, you need to keep them focused. If you use these rules, you'll get cross. So, what's it mean by keep it simple? Well, you're a teacher. Your job is to have some kind of goal and get that across. You are not Steven Spielberg. So don't think that your screencast has to be perfect. First and foremost, it has to get the information across. You do not need a phone home. Keep it short. The screencast I added last night was way too long. You want to keep your screen, like a good mini lesson, to 15 minutes max. I like two or three. Then finally, keep it focused. Have a pedagogical goal. You are teaching. You have to have that goal in your mind during your entire screencast. How are you explicitly defining the key concepts? How are you introducing the learning, and how are you reinforcing it, your modalities, by maybe adding in text and video, live video, and pictures into your screen recordings. So, what is your task this week for Module 2? First, you have your readings, and you need to respond to them and the discussions um, on the boards. So you'll read G, and you'll read Ruffini on screencasting practices. But for performance tasks, first I want you to create a screencast to teach the class something. Not school-related, just something that you're passionate about. A hobby, a chore. Then we'll look at creating a screencast about your pedagogical goal. For many of you, I want this to focus in on one of the three instructional shifts in either math or language arts. But for others...